Hey guys, coming back at you with the answers to the questions I asked you on Wednesday. Um, it is the weekend, so I hope you all have a good weekend. And I keep saying it, if you need any help, let me know, get in contact with me. All right, here we go. Okay, so I asked Chemistry 2 to tell me what the products of this question would be. So if I have an acid and a base, I'm always going to make water, H2O, but I'm also going to make a salt. And in this case, it is MGS. Um, you split these up into their positive and negative halves. So my positive magnesium, my negative hydroxide, positive hydrogen, negative sulfur, and opposites attract. So my salt is gonna be the positive magnesium with the negative sulfur. Magnesium is a plus two and sulfur is a negative two. So it's just MGS. And then, then there's my water. So these, this is my product side. So I need to make sure everything's balanced because in chemistry we cannot create or destroy matter. So we need to make sure that they have equal amounts on each side. Chemistry one, we were getting ready to do this. So this is something new for you guys um, that we had just missed out on. So if I'm looking at this, I'm gonna balance my hydrogens first. And there are two hydrogens here and two here. So there's four all together. So I'm gonna place a two in front of this H2O, so now I have four hydrogens. This now gives me two oxygens on my product side. My reactant side has two oxygens, so that works out. I have one magnesium on my reactant side. I also have one magnesium on my product side. Here comes my cat. <laughs> I have, this is what you get for doing videos at home. I have one sulfur on my reactant side, and I have one sulfur on my product side. So that is the whole breakdown of that and how to balance and solve for that acid and base. Now, chemistry one, I asked you guys just to figure out how much mass was on the reactant side altogether. So if we're looking at this, we have magnesium, which weighs 24, and there are one of them on the reactant side, so that's just 24. Oxygen weighs 16, and there are two of them, so that's gonna be 32. Hydrogen has a, a mass of one, and there are four of them, so that would be four. And then sulfur has a mass of 32, and there's only one of them. So when you add all that up, that is 92 grams. Now, if I asked you guys to add up the product side right now, you would also get 92 grams because, once again, you cannot create or destroy matter. So things can change, and they have changed over here, but you still have the same number of elements. You still have the same mass as you did on the reactant side. And that is the answers for Wednesday's question. I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend and I will post again on Monday. See ya. Bye.